welcome. I'm just I think <coughs> if this film was made in 1994 that means 28 years ago. So all the children who appeared in it, well they'll be adults by now, have families and children of their own probably. That's amazing isn't it? I was joined for this film by a friend of ours called Susie Webb. Uh, Susie, uh, better known as a professional singer and recording artist, came all the way up from London to share this experience with me. <laughs> and it was an experience. We had a great time. We went round a few schools and posed questions to the young children such as What's your thoughts on God? And what do you think heaven's like? And as usual, they were absolutely unpredictable and no time at all, we were in fits of laughter. <coughs> I've always enjoyed being surrounded by children. When I was in show business oh, 25 years ago, no, not 25 years ago, more than that, I was in show business for 25 years uh, and I really always enjoyed the pantomime season. I must have appeared in pantomimes from oh, Hastings to Aberdeen and I loved everyone. The screams and the shouts of behind you and oh, it was just chaos. It was wonderful. Um, and then after I was ordained into the Church of England, well, I became a vicar. But I was very happy to note that once again, I would always be in the company of young children. School assemblies, really. Uh, and often I was accompanied by a good friend of mine called the Reverend J. McNabb. Hi, Jake. Hello, uh, Jay Goddy. Nice to see you again. Uh, um, how have you been? Oh, okay. <laughs> hi, hi. Now, you are from Scotland. Hi, Scotland. Where about in Scotland? Uh, Loch Gelly. Loch Gelly. That's in the Kingdom of Fife. Hi, hi, that's right. Oh, I know Loch Gelly very well. Lovely place, lovely poor martyred people. Hi, hi, that's right. Um, now you're from the Episcopalian Church. Hi, that's right, yeah. Now the Church of Scotland, they nickname you the Pixies. Hi, and I don't like it either. Eh? I don't like it, no. Oh, well, hang on, Jay, just keep your red hair on for a minute. <laughs> Look, We've, we're running out of time for this program, so <clears throat> do you mind if we uh, leave it here and um, you go and calm down and uh, and we have a wee chat maybe in episode two, hey? Eh? What do you think? Aye, aye, okay, okay. Uh, what's that? Uh, uh, that? Well, we're going to be talking about um, the vicars and uh, angels and oh, other, other things. Hi, can't you eat? Okay, cheerio, cheerio. <laughs> We went round many churches together, Jake and I, and the old cathedral, and uh, he appeared on television, oh yes, and in many a daily paper, oh yes, he was on his way to being a celebrity all right, <coughs> but we'll hear about that maybe in episode two, and we'll leave him to have a rest for the moment. Well, I wonder if you'd feel like joining me in a little prayer. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we pray today for all those involved in the shaping of young people's lives, for the sacrifice and the commitment of all who are involved in serving children and young people in education. May all young lives flourish and may not one ever be overlooked. We ask this in your name. Jesus our Lord. Amen.
back. Well, um, he like sits on a cloud and um, he's always there to listen to you. I sort of know that he's listening and he can read my mind. My name's Laurie Adam. And I'm Susie Webb. Chaos, isn't it? You've heard the saying, out of the mouths of babes can come startling revelation. We've decided to put that to the test. We're asking a variety of children questions about the important things in life. And I think that some of the answers may surprise you. So come on, let's have some fun. But be prepared to be enlightened. I mean, I don't know. Who's God? He's up in the air and, and he lives in heaven and he's on the clouds. He's God's son. A man. In the sky. I don't know. He has a beard. God is God's Jesus and, and he looks like he's got a beard on. If you want to find out what God's like, you've got to, you've got to look in the Bible. Well, you be Peter and the angels. I don't know very much about him, but I know him with silver tooth tigers. Um, I don't know. Has red eyes. He's got white dress on. He's very big. He makes everything. Um, Come out. Um, he's a person who makes everything. He looks after people. Well, I know he's a very powerful source. Well, he's kind, he's loving. He's like a big heart, really. Big man who is in the sky. <laughs> Curly hair. What do you think about guns? Brilliant. Brilliant, why? Because he's a maker of everything and I like the things that he makes. I don't know. Come on. Tell me about it. Who do you think he is? Uh, a ghost. He's a person who cares and looks after his people, prays to him every day. Beard or a moustache, long hair. Glasses, <laughs> um, pipe, um, cigarette. Uh -uh. Plays a lot of bingo. Come on, I can see me on the telly. It's our Lord. God's our Lord. Can you tell me a bit about him? He's nice and kind, and he helps us. Does he? Yeah. What does he look like? Don't know. Lives in a caravan. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who he is? Who is he? He lives in heaven. Get away. He's really big. He's everywhere. He wears a dress with brown on and a white belt and is kind and he made he made trees and flowers. He wakes up in the morning. <laughs> then next night time he, he goes to sleep. Forgotten. He he makes all the things. Mm -hmm. And we talk to him, and he listens. 
when we say our prayers. It's got a coat on. It's got... It's, it's got... And it's wet. And it's got a metal bit on. He puts it over his neck. Oh. And it's up... It's got... His first... When it's met on, it looks like his first... It does when I saw it. I've got once I had two cats and the one George wandered off because he didn't want to live here and and I heard of some sad news on television. A hunter shot him down. A hunter shot George down? Yeah. You. I've got another cat called Dipper. Dipper? He's black and white, but... Well, tell me about George a minute. A hunter shot George... Oh, shame for old George, isn't it? Yeah. Where's George now, then? He's up there with God in heaven. Oh, he's up there as well. Oh, how do you get to heaven? Well, it's magic, sort of. What do you think um, heaven looks like? Cloudy and soft and blue. <coughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mucky. Oh, like a graveyard. I've never been there before and I don't know what it looks like. When somebody dies, it goes, they go up to heaven. It's like got a big gate to where you can go in. And there's lots of clouds inside there. I'm not exactly sure, but I know it's got a big gate with an angel um, guarding it. And I think there's beautiful things in there. Some people get to talk away from heaven and they, and they go inside. Well, um, heaven? Wow, heaven? Wow, wow, heaven? Wow, heaven? I'm not panic. I don't know. It's just like a big cloud and all the dead people up there are having fun playing games and remembering what their life was and thinking oh this is better than life even oh well it's a nice peaceful place um didn't people get on there um no wars or anything when they go up to heaven they look down hmm they shouldn't like the sun is near it, and uh, the moon is on the near it, but it's in space. <laughs> how, do you think, how do you think you get to heaven? Well, you go with a rocket. <laughs> Jesus lives in an old building where it's cold, and Mary and Joseph live in a different house. There are people and they're all dead. What? They're all dead? So if I please you some... <laughs> um, my, my mummy's grandma went up to heaven. Did she? Yeah. And my nana went up. Really? And, gran and, and my dad's granddad went up. And, and somebody else went up here. And I've got four in heaven now. I've got, still got my grandma. See, because she doesn't eat sugar, take sugar. She just in the tea, not in the food. I got, when I did it, <laughs> she laughed at me. <laughs> we don't take sugar in our tea. We just put tea back in and cake it, and when it's done, it's fucking bin. We don't put it when it's hot. It burns the bin, and then it, one time it burnt my foot. I, I think I've shot 
Stop, son. 